Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. And the air conditioning is going on. Today, we have something very exciting. I have an influencer, influencer event, event today. Okay, we are going, we're going to an event in a very, very nice, classy hotel in Miami. Well, they have them everywhere. It's in the St. Regis in Miami. And we're going for philosophy. It's gonna be hopefully really fun. I am kind of nervous because going to these types of events make me really nervous and I only, this is literally like my third event. The goal is to be a bad bitch today. The goal is to be a baddie and be confident. Dark femme, okay? Because I feel my f most confident when I'm in my dark feminine energy. I'm painting my toes. I did my toes black. Um, I only did one hand of my nail polish so far. I just took my everything shower. I didn't do my hair because my hair is pretty clean right now and I still cannot decide if I want to keep my hair down or put it up, which I don't know. I have to be there at six. It's currently 2.22. Oh my God, it's 2.22. So does that mean I'm gonna have a great time tonight? I hope so. Come over here to my salon station, AKA my kitchen where I make my coffee. I do like to do my nails at home. I have like 40 million things of nail supplies. So I always do my nails at home. I don't think I, gone and got my nails done i think in maybe like two and a half years and honestly i'm saving hella money today is all about getting glammed i am literally treating this like if it were a red carpet event you don't know who like i don't know what type of people i'm gonna meet here i don't know if they're gonna be taking pictures and if i end up if my picture ends up somewhere i want to look good like i want to feel really confident and i want to feel like i'm you know that girl i think we're doing skincare next after this i'm gonna finish my nails concentrate on this to get it done and i'll be back nails are done they look cute huh i'm already starting to feel like the baddie that i am we're doing a face mask <laughs> We're gonna go heavy on the skincare today. I'm gonna first do a deep, 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 deep cleansing mask. I know you guys, we all know this, okay? It went viral like years ago. We all know this bad boy, okay? And I still have it. I bought this a while ago and I still have a good amount. Oh, I got it all over me. Okay, that's awesome. So we're gonna do this mask first and then we're gonna do a DIY hydrating mask oh that was way too much this face mask is very strong some people like to use apple cider vinegar with it i just put water because it's way too strong for me i'll put some water and i use like this is literally a concealer brush that i just don't use for makeup obviously i just keep it for my face mask damn now i put too much water looking real nasty in there my face is clean <sighs> one step at a time eh. this is so fun it's like i'm transforming into my alter ego if you've never tried putting on your face mask with a brush i highly suggest it it feels i feel like i'm royalty doing it with a brush wow okay i know i look insane but we have to diy another face mask <laughs> okay we're diying a hydrating face mask because this face mask is it feels like it's tearing my skin apart and I cannot talk. Okay, so. We have ourselves some oats and some honey. I have to take this mask off. It is bothering me so much. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to be aesthetic for you wearing my cute robe. I was uncomfortable. So this is what you're gonna get. All right, oats, honey, self-explanatory. You just put that thing in there. Just kind of mix it. Should I add water? You think if I add water, it'll be bad? I'm gonna add a little bit of water. 
I'm gonna meet you in the bathroom to put this on. Go ahead. Go ahead and roast me all you want for wearing this headband. Go ahead and roast me. Go ahead. Here, I'll even pose. I'm just gonna scoop it up. Oh, this is gonna be messy too? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit. I mean, it feels great on my face, so I guess that's all that matters, right? I think now is time to try and figure out an outfit because then I can really figure out my hair and makeup. So let's go try and get an outfit. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> what can we wear? Okay. Okay, okay. Option number one, which is a dress that I have still yet to wear. Uh, like, I, I don't want to wear something I already wore before to an event because, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could. This is dress option number one, which is really freaking cute. And it has like the little ruffle on the end. This could be really cute. I mean, I have a, a long black maxi dress, but how do I dress that up? It's too plain. That's too simple. The odds are looking a lot like that dress. Like, I, I don't really have much else to work with here. Okay, so my next option, I'd have to play around with it. I have this set, right? I don't know if you can see this material on camera. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gold detailings, and it comes with a matching skirt. So I could wear this. I just think the skirt is a little big on me. And I actually have the perfect shoes. Hold on. I have these. I have these shoes that I, it's probably what I would wear. I'm gonna play around a bit and see what I come up with. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> it is time to do the hair and makeup. I'm thinking I'm gonna put my hair up, but I'm gonna do like a cool little twist. I'm just gonna do it and you'll, and you'll see. I wanna leave my bangs out, but the smallest amount of bang possible. By the way, it took me about five minutes to get all of the oatmeal out of my head somehow i got a whole bunch of oatmeal on my hair I'm just gonna get literally my fingers and carve out half of my head going up this is the only thing that sucks about doing my hair by myself i can't really check like is that good <laughs> no no i also don't have a lot of time anymore i have about 30 minutes to get fully ready okay i think that should be a better line and get some water. Here I am again, rushing for an event that I knew I had that I was getting ready for all day and somehow I'm still rushing. Only me. Only me. I will be crying on camera if this doesn't turn out how I need it to turn out. Hey, my skin came out great by the way. Like, uh, my skin feels extremely hydrated. Let's check on this. You're gonna have to trust my process. I'm gonna have to trust my own process. Oh, my arm's starting to hurt. <laughs> I'm happy because I used to be a competitive dancer and so we would have to do all our hair and makeup by ourselves. So I've been had training for this. <laughs> Let's check on this. Okay, okay, we're doing good. <sighs> I've been working on my hair for 11 minutes. That's a bit too long. Guys, I think the best thing that would happen to me tonight is if someone compliments on my hair and makeup and I can be like, yeah, that was all me. <laughs> all right. How is it looking? Be honest. I think it's pretty dang cool. Like, what should I do with my bangs? I'm gonna have to like cut them if I leave them out for sure. We're gonna put them in a little thing like that. I am not skilled enough to do really cute designs on my edges so i'm just slicking them making sure that they stay very nice and sleek now we just add some hairspray mm -hmm. a little bit more it's literally 4 45. i gotta leave in 20 minutes i am going in with tatcha dewy cream to moisturize my face and if you think I'm gonna be delicate and cutesy with this right now. I am not because I'm not about to be late. My face for some reason gets so red when I do skincare. I was recently sent this in PR and I absolutely love it. It's from Topicals, their hydrating and soothing mist. I always inhale it. I'm gonna start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is in 4.5 medium. 
I'm basically gonna use this as my base for the first time in my life. I usually never do this. Like I usually always use it just as a little highlighter or whatever. So this is the first time I'm really using it as a base. It has no coverage at all. It's just for glow, you know? I am so happy with my skin right now. Like my skin has come a long, long, long way. If you look at my videos and on my social media, I'm going in with my favorite concealers of all time. This is a Makeup by Mario Concealers. I have the shade 320 and shade 280. So I'm gonna use the shade 320 and I'm gonna cover up all of my pimpled spots. So all my redness and my pimples and whatever I would want to cover, I'm using shade 320. Basically using the concealer as a foundation because I don't have his foundation. And honestly, I would really want it. I should probably just get it instead of using the concealer as a foundation. But I don't like foundations anyway, so. And then I'm going in with shade 280 and I'm using this for my eyes since this is a little bit of a brighter shade on my complexion. Blend out my eyes like almost immediately because my eyes get really creasy. <sighs> I love doing my makeup. I wish I gave myself more time so I didn't have to rush like a crazy animal. This is gonna be a very neutral makeup look because obviously I don't have the time to do something crazy. I wasted the time on doing my hair. That is literally hair theory, okay? If your hair looks good, you don't have to have anything else done. If your hair looks good, you will look good. I'm just gonna blend out this concealer. I'm not really trying to streak it everywhere. I don't know, I feel like tapping this concealer in works way better than just trying to drag it around my face. Look at me in my makeup guru era again. If you didn't know, I blew up, blew up a long, long time ago on YouTube for makeup. Like, I started doing makeup. The video that blew me up was I did a fox eye makeup tutorial. And that continues to be my most viewed video on my channel. I just fell off on YouTube. Which I'm trying to regain you guys. I'm trying to revive all of you. Because I really want to keep doing YouTube, so. I usually use a little powder puff, but today I'm going to use a brush. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm going to essentially bake my eyes first like i'm gonna pack a lot on my eyes and now we're gonna sculpt i recently got this in pr and i love it i love it i love it i love it it's the patrick ta uh bronze duo thing and this is like my favorite thing to sculpt now so i have this little brush too i'm gonna take the more dense flat side and go in with the cream and sculpt our face so a trick that I learned, or not a trick, but what I learned when you're sculpting and contouring your face, think of contouring and sculpting as creating permanent shadows on your face. That's the whole thing. The reason why people look snatched and crazy is because it's creating a shadow effect and it, it makes you look more structured. You, everybody's face is different, so you have to figure it out for your own face. But look at yourself and play with a light, like with your flashlight go like this with a flashlight and figure out where your face creates shadows like on your cheekbones and every figure out where the shadows are that's where you want to put your contour and your bronzer i don't know if i made sense i i'm just going crazy because yeah so i'm gonna actually set this right away even though we're not done but i'm gonna use the powder and set this right away this is the contour wand by charlotte tilbury this is in shade <clears throat> My bad. This is in shade Fair Medium. I'm gonna use this to precisely get a contour. And this one is really gonna get me snatched. And if it looks harsh, good. It should. The same thing, and I'm gonna just warm up my nose a little, and then... Oh, my light! Okay, we're gonna keep going. I like to connect the bridge of my nose with my eyebrows because I feel like it just makes me look better. Okay, I'm gonna go get my thing. Okay, yay! We got light again. Okay, I think that's it for contouring. We're gonna go in with a cream blush. This is the Makeup by Mario Blush Veils in Berry Punch. Yeah, we're just gonna pick some up on a very dense brush. Just kind of pat this in. And I don't wanna do way too much. We're looking a little bit like Oompa Loompas right now, but it's okay. So I concentrate my blush right up here. Probably dab a little more. 
because by the time I'm finished with my makeup, this is all going to be... The blush is going to be like basically not gone, but very diffused. We're going back to the powder now. You're going to get a lot. And with the biggest brush that you own, completely diffuse your entire face. Everything we just did is about to be diffused and melted and blended and deliciously... Um, Ow, I poked myself in the eye, put together because of this powder. And then also dust off what you had on your eyes. That's just to set the base. Now it's time for the eyes, the most exciting part. I'm gonna do my classic black smoky eye. I'm just warming up some tape on my hands to get them not as super sticky. I'm like out of breath. Okay, this is what we're gonna use to create our perfect snatched eye makeup look. Angling it towards the end tail of my eyebrow. So I'm going in with my absolute favorite palette in the world. This is the mini sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have this thing and it's a complete lifesaver. I just cleaned it the other day. But, okay, you see I have product on there? I just go like that and it helps me take all that excess product off. I'm going in with this one right here. And that's basically my base shade. All the shadows, I'm focusing on the outer corner. And then I'm also just going to warm up the crease with it. This color is basically like skin color for me. So it doesn't really show up too much. Oh man, if I get there a little late, like that's fine. I just don't want to get there over 20 minutes late and then my anxiety always like makes me late because i'm like overthinking and contemplating whether i should even go all right now i'm gonna take the brown shade in the palette and i'm going to diffuse that on the outer corners only and taking it like i'm not really taking it into my crease i'm just diffusing it like if i'm doing a little wing here i'll zoom you in so like if i'm doing a little wing and then diffusing it onto the lash line. Trust me, the tape is so helpful because it makes this process, like this smoky eye, so quick. We're gonna go in with like a little crease brush like this and dip into the black shade and really focus the black like if it's an eyeliner. Like you don't really wanna go too far up with the black. And you can also like pinch the brush to gonna get more precise in your lash line without having to go get another brush all about efficiency i think that's good so now snatched boy ready 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 oh this is a charlotte tilbury black eyeliner this is like their eyeshadow eyeliner sharpen that just a little bit and we're gonna go on our waterline and I take my waterline like all the way into my tear duct. I should be calling the Uber right now. This is, I'm gonna go really damn fast. This is a YSL black, I don't know the name. It's their black mascara. No falsies today. You see the nerves are now kicking in. I'm getting very nervous now. I always have to do the bottom. I don't care what you say. I always do my bottom lashes. If you get mascara everywhere, just take a Q-tip and wipe it off. That's also the beauty of this makeup look that if you do get a little bit, it kind of just looks like it's part of the look because it's a smoky eye look. I wanna go for a little bit of a darker lip today. So, oh my God. We are gonna go in with the Hourglass Lip Liner in Candid 5. And I'm just gonna outline my lips like normal. I know a lot of people don't like their Cupid's bow. I love my Cupid's bow. So I like to keep it. Darken up the lines and kind of just blend as much as I can. That's the thing about these lip liners, they stay stuck. I'm gonna go in with one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. This is MAC Lipstick in shade Teddy. Very cute, and I'm gonna go over it. Try and blend out the lip liner with this. And then again, with a little Q-tip, I'm gonna blend it together. Q-tips are my favorite thing. Like, if you're doing your makeup, Always have some Q-tips on you. I can't really tell how I feel about it. My eyebrows. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I'm not doing anything to them really. Like I'm just laying them down. And they can be all natural. Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set. 
dewy set my face. I go crazy. Oh, I think I look really good. I'm sorry. I think I did my makeup very well for the time that I had. This full glam moment right now. I'm never in full glam. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut my hair. Yep. I have done this so many times now that I am not afraid to cut a few bangs. I've done a video of how I cut my bangs so many times. All right, you guys, I am officially ready. Wait. The scent of the night. Where are you? Black opium fitting. Let me show you my outfit while I order the Uber. I'm having my coach bag, this cute little dress, these cute little shoes. I'm gonna take a picture and insert my outfit. And then this is also the end of this part of the vlog. If I vlog anything there, obviously I'll put it here. So I love you guys. I'll see you at the end of the night. Your sword, yes, hands up. And especially our of Good morning. It's the next morning. I love the event. I met really cool people, which is so like, it's cool. Ugh. It was just like surreal. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It was so... It was so surreal seeing people that like either I follow on Instagram or I follow on social media and seeing people that have the following that they do and that they make you know a really great living off of social media it was so weird seeing them in person because it's like wow they're they're like they're literally another human like me oh my god this fucking train <laughs> you see people online every day and then to finally see them in real life you're just like whoa nt ways i met a mutual she was really nice she was really cool they gave us this cute bag it's so like i love it it's literally it's like a spandex material i don't know if you can tell whatever this bag alone is cute as fuck so when we got there it was like a sit down dinner type of thing and to find our seat they have a perfume bottle with my handle on it look at that that's oh and it smells literally with the the girl that i was sitting next to we were like, bro, this smells like that baby perfume. Have you ever seen those baby perfumes that are like pink and purple and, and light yellow? And they have that smell to them. This smells like that. It's so nostalgic because my mom used to bathe me in that when I was a kid. Okay, and then they also had a mole skin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a mole skin notebook. But yeah, they gave us our own notebook with a pen. You like the pen? Literally their whole, their whole skincare hero regimen, they like to call it. Resurfacing peel, one step facial cleanser. And then these three products I used last night, actually. It's their Dose of, Win the Dose of Wisdom uh, Serum, Ultimate Miracle Worker Fix. This is an eye treatment. Hope in a Jar, this is their moisturizer, their hydrating moisturizer. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Oh, controversial topic. I'm starting a Colleen Hoover book. So we'll see how this goes. Starting a Colleen Hoover book. I'm reading Verity. My friend, get, my friend read it. And so we're swapping books. She gave me this book to read. I'm gonna give her a book to read. Let's try Miss Colleen Hoover out. This is the first book I ever read from her. So we'll see how it goes. All right, I love you guys so much. I'm done talking. I'll see you in my next video. Please watch my videos. I love you guys. Okay, bye.